Yo, what's going on guys, it's Gminers here. In today's video, we are going over a Void 3.0 build on Warlocks that lets you mop ads. I'm not talking rank and files either, this is gameplay from the second to last mission on the Legend campaign. I am 15 under power with additional modifiers that make enemies way tankier, and even still, everything is getting massacred. Looking at the subclass itself, we are using the aspect Feed the Void. This lets us proc Devour on any Void ability kill. Devour then provides us with full health for every single kill we get, extends the timer that Devour is active for, and provides us with a large amount of grenade energy. The other aspect we have is Child of the Old Gods. By placing our Rift, we spawn a Void Soul, and shooting at an enemy then sends this Void Soul to their location. The Void Soul then weakens all enemies nearby and drains their life. As enemies are being drained, we get grenade and melee energy, and by killing an enemy that is being drained, we get class ability energy, so that we can do this all over again. This aspect is completely broken. I don't know who thought Warlocks needed a mini tether that lets you have near infinite ability regen, but here we are. Good job, Bungie. With these aspects, we do get four fragments. The first one we will be using is Echo of Expulsion. Void ability kills will make enemies explode. This is going to be great for killing grouped adds, and it pairs nicely with the Volatile from our melee ability. Second is Echo of Undermining. Our Void Grenades will now weaken enemies. This is a 15% debuff, so this just makes our nades 15% stronger. Third is Echo of Persistence. This is going to allow our Devour timer to last longer. This is huge as it allows for us to maintain Devour far more often, especially when trying to search for a kill to increase our timer once again. And then lastly, we are going to use Echo of Reprisal or Reprisal. While surrounded, we are going to get increased gains to our super when killing enemies. The mods we are using are all going to be centered around Void Elemental Wells. On top of this, because Devour is so broken, we are not going to need any mods that help keep us alive, so instead we can focus on making the build even stronger. Real quick before I do go over these mods, if you found this video useful, don't forget to drop a like and sub down below. We are super close to 10k guys, subbing is completely free, it helps me out a ton and you can always unsub later. Mod number one is going to be Reaping Wellmaker. After placing down our Rift, we are going to spawn a Void Well after our next final blow. This build revolves around the constant use of our Rift and our Void Soul, so this is going to work great. Mod number two is Elemental Ordinance. Grenade final blows will spawn an Elemental Well that matches our subclass. We are using two mods for generation so that we can maintain buffs from Wells more often. Once again, Devour gives us our grenade back after something like four or five kills, so this is going to be able to generate Wells very, very often. Number three is Font of Might. By grabbing our Void Wells, we are going to get 10 seconds of a Void Weapon Boost. This is going to increase all Void Weapon damage by 25%. I also prefer using the brand new Funnel Web Void SMG. I have a video on this, but my role has Frenzy, which is an additional 15% Weapon Boost at almost all times, so this quickly goes to a 43% total damage boost when I have Font of Might active. Mod four is Volatile Flow. This is a seasonal artifact mod at the final tier. By grabbing a Void Elemental Well, we are also going to get 15 seconds of Volatile Rounds. Everything we hit with a single bullet will become Volatile. Upon death, they will explode, dealing damage to nearby enemies. When mowing down groups of adds, this is going to make it easy to set off a chain reaction that kills everything after you get a final blow on just one enemy in that group. And then lastly, for increased super regen, we are going to be using Font of Wisdom. Grabbing Void Wells will give us increased intellect for 10 seconds. The reason we are using Font of Wisdom, even though it seems like an odd choice, is that this build revolves around using our super. This is why we are pairing this with the exotic chess piece, Mantle of Battle Harmony. This makes weapon kills that match our subclass energy provide us with increased energy gains. Using this exotic paired with Funnel Web, Font of Might, and then once again Echo of Repraisal, which gives us increased super gains, our super is going to go up extremely fast. On top of this, I also like to use Harmonic Siphon that generates orbs for weapon kills that match my subclass. Grabbing these orbs will always be a nice boost to my super energy. Where this build all comes together is with the Seasonal Artifact mod Devouring Depths. My previous video covered this mod in detail and went over just how OP it is when using Nova Warp. With this, anytime we pop super while Devour is procced, our super will gain a 30% damage increase. If we throw a weakened grenade before popping super, this adds a 15% debuff to an enemy, so this will combine to almost a 50% total damage increase. With this, Nova Warp will 2 or 3 hit every yellow bar in the game. It'll also kill adds around you while doing this, and then procking Devour, and then it'll let you keep roaming with your super after. 
The gameplay I have is once again from the second to last mission on Legend difficulty. Enemies are weaker when playing solo compared to with multiple players, but I am still under power and additional modifiers still make these enemies tankier. The final part of the mission is by far the hardest. Tons of ads spawn at you while you are dealing with majors and multiple hive guardians. Even with all of this, the mission felt like a complete joke as this build just runs through everything. I feel like I keep saying this in all of my videos, but this might be one of the best builds I've made this season. There is nothing this build can't do, and even in something like a day one raid, supers and playstyles can be adjusted to make this outperform in every aspect. That is all for this video. Let me know your thoughts on the build in the comments below. Have a good one, guys. Peace.